All right. So now I've built up to this part of my animation. I've gone through the first six panels of my nine frame storyboard. So I need to now have the head uh, disconnect and float towards the corner and a hand comes out and grabs it. Now I can't do that and continue swelling and continue changing color. Um, our eye can only track so many movements, but I also need to make more space for the head to pop. So I'm going to do a pretty quick zoom out. I'm not going to zoom out as quickly as I zoomed or as slowly as I zoomed in. So go back here, deselect, get rid of that one. Okay, so now I'm going to jump up, jump every three zooms. That will be my next zoom. That will be my next zoom. Or maybe I'll do it in three steps. So I'll go every two. Okay, so I'm going to go from this one to this one now. And I'm going to keep the body the same, except I might curl the, the talons a little bit. Keep moving the textures. Maybe even start making the textures. Well, no, they're fine. I don't want to add more complexity than I need. All right. Now that's, that's the head. But when it pops off, I need to have kind of a, an empty black cavity <coughs> that's able to grab it. So the first thing, let's move the head off. It starts to disconnect. I'm going to tone down the overall effects a little bit. Okay, but I also need to build on this asset. So on top of the body, make a new blank layer. Well, here, I'll do it this way. Select where this empty cavity would be. It's just going to be blackness. It's not going to spew blood and guts or anything. I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to go to direct adjustments, play with levels, really darken it, limit its highlights, that looks a little gory, and then when I turn off the effects, yeah, that should look, look pretty bad, and then I can burn it a little bit more on this side. Give it a little bit of dimension. I don't mind having some content in there. Okay, so that's, I'll just call that my head hole. <laughs> I want to leave that above what I, what I do with the body. So my head's going to start to disconnect. Then, what's going to go on with the body? Oh, I should probably change the head a little bit, but whatever I decide here on the head, in terms of its eyes, hmm, what do I want? Yeah, maybe the squint. Um, it's got to stay there. <laughs> And then in terms of, you, know, you can't puppet warp a group, but I can distort and skew it a little bit. And what I'm actually trying to do is shrink it up a little bit so that I have more room to play with it as an element. And I can always rotate it. and use my arrow keys and just shift it a little bit. Okay, so it's going to disconnect. Um, I can even add, I've always said you can draw, and this might be a good area where I'm going to just use my paintbrush, grab a color and a low opacity, pretty thick, soft brush, 
and I can just draw little emphasis lines behind the head. Ah, that's kind of weird. I could draw in sound effects too. Yeah, that's cheap. All right, so I'll leave it this way. Now what do I do with the body? <coughs> uh, maybe I want to have the head just, I haven't done much with the mouth, so maybe I want it just a semi-semi open mouth. All right, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and burn that a little so it looks a little different. But remember, I need to set this to reset by the, by the end. Okay, now to the body. The latest copy up here. I'm just going to puppet warp it. I'm not going to change its colors anymore. And I'm making a duplicate each time in case I want to go back to an old setting of the puppet warp. But I'm going to curl the, whoops, curl the, um, the toes in a little bit. Like that. Oh, I didn't. I said I wouldn't. wasn't going to mess with the back, so shouldn't mess with the back. Okay. Return. Good. Now the sun moves down, and once it's set, it's set. And what zoom am I using? I'm using this one. The greens now. This gives me a little bit more room for this to pop off. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. I've never popped off a head before. Like a cork from a champagne bottle. That jump cut's going to make you know from that extreme zoom that something kind of crazy is happening. Very Monty Python style. And if I decide it's too much, I can always you know, just leave that extreme one out. But it's easy to build in. Okay, now I have to go fast. So I want the head to really kind of pop out, not just float. <coughs> so I need to move it dramatically into a new zoom, give it a place to go. And so that head, which is not going to change, other, other than its position now, I'm going to go all the way up to here, almost fired off like a rocket. Right. But now I need the hand to start emerging as well at the same time. So for that, I have to go to my disorganized assets. And I think I'm going to use this one. Let's go ahead and bring that in. I'm going to cut out what I want. Doesn't work. Let's see. Let's move this up above everything so I can see it clearly. Come on. And I want to cut out this arm. A rough cut first. Duplicate it. Erase the smart object. Use contiguous. Ah, bummer. Can't quite cleanly get that. So basically, use your compositing skills to clean it up. I thought it'd be funny to have the bones as part of the hand. 
It's coming from the inside of his body. Not that any of it makes sense. And then just some quick lasso work here. Remember, it's GIF animations, not full resolution prints. So my reference didn't need to be huge, and it's not huge. It's only like a thousand pixels. And I'm just going to play with it however I see fit. Okay, so now I've got the arm. I've got to use this asset well and decide where it should be layered. It's got to come out of the body. like so. And then let's see what is the movement going to be. So I'm making a new cycle here. Duplicate, simply move it up and transform it out. Duplicate, transform, move it up and rotate out. A little bit faster as it goes. Duplicate, transform it out, and then up. Okay, that's about as far as it can go. <coughs> now I can clean each of those up. I have the duplicates, so I'm going to use my eraser. 100% soft edged large eraser. Hmm. <laughs> or I could just use the lasso. show it starting to emerge. Okay. So this is the arm cycle. I'm going to put it in its own group. I got to move that down below all my zooms. And the first one I want for this frame is this one. I will start coming up. And I might make that a little bit darker. And I'm going to do that with layer styles. So I can just do a simple uh, gradient overlay. No. Nope. Color overlay. No. Nope. Gradient overlay. Yes. Like this. Make it gray here. There's just lots of ways you can do it. And I need to set it to be normal. And at that kind of angle. There we go. Maybe make this a little bit brighter. Ah. So what does normal what does soft light do? That helps a little bit. 